Hi, I'm Mike Svob, and today I want to give you a couple tips and little things you can do to help your brushes last longer and work better, and so you can create paintings you love. Okay, today I've got out here several different kinds of things, you, soap basically, that you can use to clean your paint brushes. And what makes these a little bit different, they each have a little bit of a different consistency, but they'll all do the job, all right? So this one here is dish soap. This brand is Dawn. Other brands will work, but Dawn works really well. This one here is called an oil soap. It leaves a little bit of a residue in your brush, but it cleans like this, leaves a little bit of an oil residue. This here is a brush cleaner that is sold in the art stores. Uh, it's called the Masters Brush Cleaner. But uh, this one is a, a much thicker. It's like a soap in a bar. And this one has a tiny bit of grit in it, and it has lanolin in it, right? So that lanolin residue will stay in your brush. And the fact that it's thicker, if you're having trouble with your brush fraying all over the place, it'll help straighten your brush out. So there's a few things that you do in this case. Now you can see this brush, I thought I brought a white one somewhere, which was brand new. Yeah, I probably got it dirty already. Hold on. This one's much lighter. When you buy these brushes, basically they're white or close to white. Now you can see this one here has a lot of color in it, and that's because there's paint in the brush. And what this will do over the long run is it'll work its way down the ferrule. If you don't clean it, it'll be destroyed much quicker and you'll be buying a lot more brushes. With acrylic, uh, you don't need to buy brushes as much as you do in oil or in watercolor. They should last a good long time. Um, one of the things that you do as an artist is you don't leave them in the water like this for an extended period of time. Like, I'll, I'll leave them all day. Right? And the ferrules, which is this area here, won't come loose. Oh, this one's slightly loose, but it won't get really loose and be junk. So I leave them in there all day, and then every once in a while, I clean them to get all the dirt out of the end of the brush. And that's what I want to show you how to do right now. So I'm getting the brush wet, and I'm going to use this one for this. This is this thick stuff. I get the brush wet, and you just... You work it into the soap until you got a really thick lather like you were going to shave your dad or something. Or your dog maybe, I don't know. So you take that brush and then you work it in the palm of your hand is the best way to do this. All right? And what will happen is most of that violet or purple will come out. And you can see I'm pushing on the brush and you don't want to wear holes in your hand. So if you're doing a lot of brushes, you want to do them, you know, a couple at a time. Give yourself, you know, one each day or two each day and clean them out. And the longer you do this, the cleaner your brush will become. So you'll see the violet is coming out in the soap now. And this brush was totally dry. So I'll do this, you know, for a minute or two. And as long as I keep getting color out of it, I can keep cleaning it, and it'll get more and more back to the way it was when I bought it, okay? And I'm doing this because this will push the paint out of the ferrule, or close, like right in here. So I take my hand and I just go like this, give it a massage. Do that a few times. Now you can see the soap, the color of it. It's kind of a dirty violet. There's probably some other color in there, right? So I'm going to rinse the brush out now. Get the soap off my hands. Now, some people get excited about, you know, the amount of paint you end up in the palm of your hand. It's going to be so small, I don't really worry about it. But if I'm doing a lot of brushes, if I have a lot of brushes, I'll do this in the bottom of the bucket, or I'll do it on the table, I'll do it on my palette, I'll do it wherever I can. But you'll find 
The most effective place is the palm of your hand. So now you can see the brush. Oops, it was much cleaner than it was. Now, if your brush is doing this kind of thing, where it's fraying out all over the place, what you do now is while the brush is still wet, you go back into this stuff, and you, it's, you, saw, you saw how much I dried the brush first? So now I'm going back in here and I'm just trying to pick up enough soap to help form the brush. So I've got a fair bit of soap in the brush, and then I do a little bit of brushing with the brush, onto the brush, to straighten it out so that all the hairs end up in the right direction. Now I can do it on here, I can do it on the table. It won't hurt the table. It won't hurt whatever you do it on. So I just take something like that. Go like that a few times. Take your hand and form the brush. You let it dry like that and the brush will be almost like brand new again. So that's how you take care of a paintbrush, if you want your paintbrushes to last and work well for a long time. It's not that complicated, but it's the kind of thing where if you don't do it, they will get so bad fast that they're junk, basically. And with acrylic, these brushes should last for quite a few years before you, know, you have to throw them away. So that's the best way to take care of your paintbrush, and I hope it'll help you create paintings you love. I hope you found this information useful. Now, I have a handout called How to Fix Your Painting, and you can get it by clicking on the link below. Thank you for watching.